What is up guys? Welcome back to another daily build video. This time I've got a Porsche Taycan Turbo S in the Crew Motorfest. Let's go. Real quick before I get into the video, if you're looking for any of my builds, you can go to militiagamingco.com, go to the builds page, and you've got builds for Unbound, you got builds for Heat, you got builds for Motorfest. Um, we got builds for everything. So anyway, just head over there if you're looking for one of my builds. There's a bunch of other resources there as well. So anyway, let's get into this Taycan. All right, first, let's take a look at the stats. So it's got a 211 mile per hour top speed, which is really not that good for street tier two. I've seen other cars get above 230 on this. So it's not the best, but this car has incredible acceleration, 2.60 to 60, and it has decent braking, but it is a little bit of a heavier car. So it's got a 19.5 distance for its braking. And then the lateral Gs are 1.28. That's actually pretty good. I've only seen a couple of cars that are a little bit more than that, but this one handles very, very well. Let's get into the pro settings so you can see how this thing is set up. All right, so there's only a couple of things that I had to change on this. The car feels pretty good stock. But what we did was we softened up the suspension just a little bit. We've got negative two on the spring front, negative three on the spring rear. And then of course the ARBs also needed to be adjusted. So softened up the suspension, but stiffened up the body. So this gives it a little bit of a stiffer feel in the corners, but it actually will stick through it and it doesn't slip as much. So ARB front at plus three and ARB rear at plus five. So like I said, just gives the body a little bit of a stiffer feel, not as much body roll. It is a heavy car, so that actually makes a lot of sense. Everything else is basically stock. The thing feels great stock, but if you take it out and you drive it like this, it's a pretty nice improvement, I would say. So anyway, let's take it out on a couple of races and see how this thing does. All right, a lot of times the AI get in my way on the beginning here. Let's see if I can avoid them. Probably not, but we're going to try. Nope. Still in the way. Man, it gets to top speed very quickly. Holds that corner nicely. Little body tap there, no big deal. Little nos through the grass, lots of shortcuts, especially on corners. The way they place these checkpoints, a lot of corner cuts you can make. Pretty incredible. And that curb really turned me back. Got to concentrate on these turns, man. A little bit of a wonky little bridge there. Into some very tight turns. We're going to drift this one. Not too bad. Not too bad. Showing how terrible I am at this game. And then look at the power, dude. Just insane acceleration out of that this car is funny man it feels like you're not going very fast but then you put up a decent time look at this time dude absolutely insane a 20 a two minutes and 20 seconds i believe that's actually my fastest time on this not that i've tested a lot of cars but this one just happens to accelerate extremely well um coming out of corners so you're getting a lot more speed even though like i said it doesn't look fast for some reason but it feels fast man it, it actually feels very very nice so let's take a look at my leaderboard real quick here for customs so I'm number 30 
overall right now out of 2,000 players that have been ranked on this course with a 220. So, and that's on the custom leaderboard. If I were to go to the playlist, that's with the loner car, um, the NSX. But for the custom leaderboard, I'm ranked 30. The best time in the world being a two minutes flat, but I believe that's with an F1 car. Yeah, it's an Alpha GP car. So I think that's pretty good, man. That's actually really good. Is there any other street tier two cars above me? So the Diablo, that might be one to work, watch out for. That's, um, I was playing with that yesterday. It seems pretty fast. Um, and then we've got a, a Porsche 911 GT. And what else? What else? What else? That's it, dude. Everything else is hypercar or alpha GP. So those two cars, maybe we'll have to check those out next. But yeah, the um, the Lamborghini Diablo and then the Porsche 911 GT look like they're pretty fast as well. So anyway, 220 on this one. It's actually pretty good. I uh, encourage you guys to go out and buy this car. It's actually very good. We've been using it in the grand races as well. And uh, shout out to my editor for helping me out with some of the pro settings. It looks like uh, we were able to come up with a system that, that worked there. So anyway, uh, that's it for this one, man. If you guys have any questions, you can send me a DM on Instagram, Twitter, or Discord. And uh, I read and answer every single message that comes my way. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you on tomorrow's Daily Build. Trigger out.